Hello, welcome to Oscar Modeling. And in this video, we're going to start on this. So here we go. This is the Ravel Volkswagen T2 Camper. Now I've done a review and unboxing of this, and it will be in the playlist under the VW Camper. And uh, you might want to go and check that out before we start um, before you start following along as we put this together uh, and have a look and you'll see what's in the box and all the instructions and everything with it. So I'm looking forward to, to building this. Um, as you can see, it's an easy click system and uh, plus 10 years of age. So that qualifies me all around, I'm sure. And um, yeah, 112 parts. Uh, it's going to look really good. Um, doing the review and unboxing of this, it's quite amazing how this all came to get came together, and uh, it looks really good. So um, yeah, you're welcome to join in and watch as we put this together. Um, if you're new to the channel, please uh, hit that subscribe button. It costs nothing to subscribe. And then hit the little notification bell so you get notified of um, all the videos as they're released. And if you like the video at the end, give us a thumbs up. And uh, comments are always welcome. Um, not only for, I, I like getting feedback from everybody, but um, most people who watch the video also scroll through the comments and get a bit of info as well. Um, so if you've built this, mention it below. Let me know what you think of it. And um, yeah, if you've got any pointers along the way, that'd be good. Now, I know that this is already, as you would have, if you've watched the review, um, this comes already pretty much coloured. So all your parts for the interior, your dash, the undercarriage, uh, even the tyres and all this are all in these colours. So you don't need to paint this. Having said that, I will be painting it. Now, I'm not too sure about the exterior of the bodywork. Um, it's really good, as you'll see. Uh, the plastic looks really nice, and I think that if I was just to give it a nice uh, clear coat, that would be good enough. Um, as for the interior furniture, and, and uh, well, mostly all the interior, I will most likely... Um, undercoat all that in black. I'll use Mr. Surface of Black and then paint that myself. So it'll just give the, a bit more depth um, to it. Not that it's going to need any weathering or any, anything. This is going to be uh, try and keep this looking nice and uh, clean. But uh, there will be uh, parts that I will paint. Yeah, for sure. All right, so... Without further ado, uh, let's let's get started, eh? Okay. So the first thing I want to do is obviously open the box and um, sort out all our sprues and put them in a separate container because, like uh, most, if not all, Ravel boxes, they're side opening and not top lid opening which otherwise you could keep them in here and be easy to access, but because it opens this way, yeah, it's a bit hard to keep it in the box. So I'll get myself a, another container and put all the sprues and everything in. All right, I'll be back back shortly. Okay, so let's... Uh, first, we'll just have a quick look at some of these sprues here. i got myself a separate little container to put them all in. We'll just quickly take a look. Now, like I said, they're all coloured already. Um, so there's our chassis there. Um, we've got our seats, the backs of the seats, like that. And we've got all the undercarriage, all in black with the exhaust pipe, the uh, bits of the brake system there. I can see windscreen wipers on there. Um, 
What else we got? This looks like uh, some of the beige body work. Yeah, we've got the doors there, the front end, the roof. Good. Um, there's some white to the roof as well. Out of the bag. Bumpers in there. Bumper bars. Um, no glue required, apparently. Sorry. <laughs> All just clips together. Let's see about that. Um, there's more, of course. We've got some of the parts here with the furniture. Cupboards and it's like a cooktop, stove, uh, the pop top, the roof. Uh, more uh, like roof sections or interior. That might be a table, I'm not sure, or a seat. <laughs> it could be, I don't know. We'll get to looking at the instructions and what is what. Um, this also comes with lots of clear parts. I'll take them out quickly. We'll have a look at beautiful clear parts. Um, yeah, cool. Yeah, there they are there. Windows, windscreen, side windows, headlights. Keep that in the plastic, of course. Don't want that to get damaged. There's me who dropping stuff everywhere. Got to get that sticky tape back. Need that on there. In there. That'll put that somewhere safe. Now here we've also got all the chrome work, the wheel hubs, and some light surrounds and rear view mirrors, all in there. So, Volkswagen emblems on there. Really nice there. We've got uh, some uh, silver bits in here. Um, it's like the exhaust and the engine parts in that. Out of the bag. Yeah. It's like the um, hubs for the wheels, the rims. There's our engine there, a bit of exhaust. Uh, there's the uh, brackets for the canopy, fold up canopy on the roof. And the side. Um, we've got actual rubber wheels, uh, tyres, sorry, rubber tyres in there, five of them, including the spare, and then we've got the body of the beast, <laughs> there it is, looking nice, yeah, all right, now, what will I do is uh, get all these um, sorted out. I don't think this is going to be big enough. I might have to find a bigger box container to put them in. And then uh, we'll grab a look at the instructions and see where we begin. Okay, back in a sec. Okay, welcome back. So we've got our instruction book here, and then I did have a look inside, and I just remembered we've got all the decals in here which there are tons of. So we've got both water base decals, which include the fabric for the seats. There's number plates on there. It looks like quite a choice of number plates, license plates that can go on there. Um, yeah, so the water base ones. And then we've got stickers. Uh, whether they're all used or they're optional, I don't know. There's also number plates on here as well. The stickers have a nice reflective, as you can see. So the number plate would be good to use a sticker for. Okay, so I'll, I'll put these obviously somewhere safe. And uh, all the sprues I've got all over to my left here, all, uh, well, I didn't need to label them or anything because it's pretty much color coded. So it's not gonna be hard to find parts. So we go through the usual Ravel um, instructions here. 
um, starting off with some basic uh, how to do's. We know how to do, how to take uh, pieces off the sprue, how to use put decals on, so forth. Here we got the key to the um, little symbols we'll see throughout the build. Uh, one paintbrush, obviously the paint. One is the sequence of assembly, one, two, three, so forth. Two of, build two. Um, decals, optional is a question mark. Remove, yes. Read instructions carefully if you see that. Um, clear parts is that, chrome parts is that. And uh, obviously I'm looking here thinking where's the glue one? but we don't have glue, we don't need glue. Uh, this one's repeat on the opposite side, if you see this, and we got decal fluid, which we will be using later. All right. Um, color call out. So they do actually have optional paint colors here. So here we've got um, 09A, which is a matte black, it looks like. Uh, I don't know why, I don't know why there's nothing in English on that. It's strange, or it is. Anthrazit matte. I don't know, it looks black to me. Then we've got uh, brown silk matte, which is a 381. We've got silver metallic. We've got orange clear. And we've got red clear, most likely for the lenses on the lights. Here we've got our sprue call out. So we got one, two, three sprues there, A, B, and C. Um, that's pretty simple. Um, black is showing parts not used, which is, yeah, I guess that's a big gap in the sprue. So we got all these ones here. We got D, I, S, J, which is the body. Um, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, and of course, all our tyres. So, we start with one, and already I'm seeing a paint symbol. That's interesting. Let me just check that. Go back to the key here. Paint. Yeah, it does too. All right. Well, to begin with, we, we need our, we need to get the uh, the uh, floor pan out, which is A01, which will be on the sprue, which is obviously black. There it is. So we need to take this off. And they're showing one and two, which is the order you put things in. So we need to do this, put that together, Put that on and two that clips in. So it clips in the back and down. Okay, we'll figure that out. Um, all right, sorry if I'm rambling on. I know I, most of my videos I do, uh, uh, again, are like, all right, well, I'll just go and do that and then we come back and look at uh, hey, it's all done. But in this case, there is no gluing. These just clip together. So I think we can just do all this live and you can watch me all right so first of all we need to take this off the sprue okay now there will be times where i'm going to go well do you really need to see me clip this off and uh sand up all the join marks and tidy it up probably not i'll tell you what i'll do and then i'll go and do it there's no need we do need to take this off Uh, pretty simple now I remember when I was young these Volkswagen vans and now even you still see these things around on the road especially popular for beach areas a lot of people in the surfing used to used to have these the roof racks on them would be just right for your surfboard to go on okay that's that one and then we need uh number three which looks like 
looks like this. Yep, it's this one. We'll take that off as well. Might as well get all the parts off we need for the step. Move the instructions over here. Okay. okay. And then we need A number two, which is this one here. And it's interesting, it's got a color call out of C. So this is going to be a different color. And, uh, sorry, I'm looking at this off camera. All right, let's have a look at this. Let's just take it off. Like I said, we'll get all the parts off first. Let's see. Then I'll clean them all up. All right. Oh, I see. So this needs to be painted C. So we'll go to our color all out for that. What was C? Probably silver in color. Uh, here it is. C is silver metallic. So this is all painted silver metallic. Then we've got A, which is the black matte, which will be a little part on the top of there. And B is the brown silk color there. Okay. And then this will attach to this right way around, up the right way. It's going to go, won't well, now, but because I've got to clean up those parts, but it's going to sit in there. So I'm looking at that's part of the engine, I think. Okay, so let's put that there. So that's all the parts we need um, for this. So I guess I need to go and tidy these up. So I'll be back shortly after I've cleaned up all our little connection points. Okay. Okay, welcome back. So I've just cleaned up all the little bits of plastic sticking off there. Um, one thing I've noticed, uh, not so much on that, but on some of these parts, you just got to be careful. You make sure that when you take them off the sprue, and you leave a bit of a tab on there, make sure you cut off the correct ones because there's a couple there that are needed to clip this piece in and if you were to mistakenly take them off you're going to have a problem so yeah uh, take note of where all the attachment points are on the pieces so you don't take off something that you need um so yeah uh, it's all right to go now so this one here which the instructions is bring that down so you can see it's just this part here number three um making sure that goes in the right way that way and it will sit just in there like that there you go first piece is in <laughs> not hard at all now this one um i've already test fitted that it just goes in and then it'll just clip in there that's fine but we need to paint this so this needs to be done uh silver so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and give this a coat of silver. And then I'm going to have to wait until it dries um, before I can do the black piece on here, here, and then the brown piece. Now these bits here, I could mask them up, but they're really small. So I'm just going to paint the whole thing silver. And then I might, well, I'm pretty sure I will just use a brush and, uh, and, and paint those little pieces on there. That that will finish that little section there, and then we can put it on. Um, yeah, so I'll go uh, get the airbrush um, warmed up, give this a coat of the silver, and I'm just thinking because it's already black, we may need to do a uh, a grey undercoat on this first. Otherwise, the dark's going to come a bit too dark through for the silver. What do you think? Yeah. 
All right. That's what I thought too. <laughs> I'll give it an undercoat first. And uh, it won't take too long to dry before we get that done. So I'll do that. Sorry, I keep repeating myself. And in the meantime, uh, we can move on to step two because we're building uh, a piece that goes onto the back of that. So we can start putting all this together. Again, this needs painting as well by the looks of it. Again, silver and silver. In fact, there's a few parts here that Color Calls has called out for some silver. What I'm thinking now is to get all those parts that need to be painted and do them all at once. Otherwise, you know, we're going to have to you know, clean out the airbrush, come back, do it again. So I may as well do all this silver. Yeah, I think that's a go. All right, so what we'll do is we'll put that aside. We don't need that for a bit. Put that up there. This is the part we need to do silver. Leave that there. We'll start taking these off. So we need B4. Uh, so that's screw A. We look for screw B4. And uh, find find that, I will come back and find that. Hey, welcome back. So um, what I've decided to do is I'm going to undercoat all these parts that need to be black. Well, not even black. I'm just going to do an undercoat and then we'll paint the colors on. Um, I'm not too sure about the body itself. I may leave it that color and not do anything. <clears throat> because the idea is I want to get that plastic shine off. You know, I don't want that plastic shine. I want to dull that down. So, so we'll, we'll, we're going to undercoat that Mr. Self Surfacer Black. I'll do this piece. Um, I'll take all these parts off and undercoat them all. And right through until we've done all that engine air, um, all the chassis and floor plan area. All this here. I'm going to get all the parts off the sprue and get them all ready to paint. I think that's the best way to go. All right, so I'll do that and we'll come back and we'll have a look at it. Cheers. Okay, welcome back everyone. So just had a little bit more detailed look at the instructions. Sorry about the mess here. Basically, what, I've, what I'm going to do is every part from step one, two, three, four, five, and over to all this up to 10 when the wheels go on, which is, finishes all that um, chassis, is going to get all undercoated in black, surf, Mr. Surfacer. And then I'll be painting the parts that need to be done black, black and the other colors in the colors uh, as required including the metallic i'll be painting so it'll much more realistic effect with paint on it other than going by the color of the plastic all right so i've got all these parts here i'm going to go and take in and undercoat them now including this whole sprue of all these parts which will be undercoated and that's it okay we'll be back shortly hey welcome back again i've just been and sprayed these and gave them about an hour uh mr service which is pretty much is dry really just showing you here so it's taken a lot of the shine off got rid of that plastic look so, um it's gone on quite nicely uh, they were the silver parts. They'll be resprayed with the silver. But the black will give it that primer, will give it that uh, bit of a shadow effect in the lower areas, in the creases in the engine there, on that part anyway. Make that look a bit better. So I'm just going to give that another half hour to dry. Um, these ones, I've, like I painted them all on the sprue because most of the connecting points are. They've been really well done. They're not on parts that will show, um, which is good. And anything that is, I'll just touch up. 
Here you can see the dashboard. You can see how nice that's come up. Uh, again, getting rid of that plastic look. These are all done. So what I've found is I've got some, is it here? No, that's my rubber black. I've got some um, flat black paint that I'll paint all these area parts that need to be done black. I'll give them a coat of that. Um, and here's the chassis done in the Mr. Servicer. And again, you can see it's taken that shine off and it's a little bit better. And this I'll give a coat with the uh, flat black. You know, I could even leave it like that, really. Nah. <laughs> Maybe I should. I think that looks quite good for the undercarriage. What do you reckon? Um, nah, nah. I'll, I'll paint it the black. Now, what I've also um, done here is I've just gone ahead while that was drying and I'm looking at the next stages. Um, <coughs> excuse me, which will be the furniture in the rear of the van. It just showing me here how to where they all go together. Um, here they are on the sprue here. here. Um, some nice textures on them. They look quite good. Um, but again, I'm going to do them all in black undercoat. Again, that's going to make uh, make them look a bit more real. And I've also found this uh, NATO brown, which is quite close to to that color. It's this sort of has I don't know if you can tell on the camera the, the view on camera's the color correction is quite good. It has a sort of a apricot sort of color to it. It looks nice, but I can't match that perfectly. But this NATO brown, I think that's going to go really well. Um, there may be some little um, darker areas I will do. Uh, for example, where did it go? The next piece I'm going to show you, um, which is the sort of the interior floor area, all nicely textured. Um, again, cover it, Mr. Self, the black. The floor is actually black, so I'll be painting that black. All this area will be black. That's just going following the instructions. Most of the cupboards will fit and cover most of this here. This wall, I think you can see that wall in the van. Um, there's nothing up against it, or there may be. Actually, now that I look, um, there is a bench there and a cupboard. So I will check the fit and see how much of that's covered, in which case I'll do that in a slightly different brown. I'll see what I've got, uh, just to make it stand out, just a fraction a bit from the furniture here. Um, because they do call out for some slightly darker colours. If I go to B here, it actually says uh, brown silk matte. Well, you know, um, it's up to your own interpretation of what that will be. But it's just, just want something a little bit darker than that. It'll show up or even go the opposite and go lighter wouldn't really matter anyway so yeah I'll be doing that now here we got the seats um, so again I'll be spraying them uh, Mr. Service of black and then I'm going to find the color to try and get a vinyl look to them um, the instructions um, don't actually put a color or they do they use they're saying the same brown as the other color other than this that I haven't decided on yet that's the color that they're saying to match things like uh, the tabletop I think is in there is of, of this brown yeah so there are a few spots and these basically what I want is I want these to look like just vinyl and a brown with a slight red through it I think that would look nice you know something even along the lines of a hull red might look good on that um, and of course I'll give that a gloss because it'll be vinyl it should be shiny and uh, yeah and the same for the back of the chairs all right so 
what am I doing now? Well, <laughs> uh, I'm going to give them a little bit more time to dry. Um, it's now 2 p.m. in the afternoon, so I've still got time. I'll give them another half hour, but in the meantime, I'll go and spray all this other stuff, and that'll be all ready to work on tomorrow. All right, so as I say, I'll be back shortly. Oh, I would love to show you guys the spraying. I don't have a camera set up in there properly, and it's a little bit awkward. Um, you know, so maybe one day I'll, I'll I'll sort something out where we can watch a bit of the spraying going on as well. Yeah. All right, I'll come back and we'll have a look at what it's looking what what they're looking like after they're after these parts are all undercoated and then we'll get some uh, proper paint on those okay back shortly hello welcome back so um i've got some other parts drying that i also undercoated in black mr surfacer and and in the meantime i was going to paint these these need to be all done in the silver um but i realized that I need to take them off the sprue, otherwise I'm going to have marks showing black through where I've taken taken them off. So what I've noticed is that there's plenty of little points in here on the sides that don't get painted that I can clip them to and hold them. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll take all these, these are all the rims, I'll take them off, um, the transmission cover under there, That'll all be silver, so I can do that. Uh, same with this. So all these parts, will, I'll just take off and paint them um, individually. And I'll do that right now, and uh, we'll come back and have a look at what they look like all painted up. Okay, back in a second. Okay, back again. I've uh, finished painting the silver. They're... Fairly dry, it's been about half an hour. I thought I'd just show you how these rims came up. Looks all right, don't it? There's this engine part here. It's looking all right. Uh, I think that's a transmission runs underneath there. Uh, so these parts are very small, there's a battery, which the top of that will be black. I think there's even decals to go on that. But, uh, yeah, it's come up pretty good, hey? That. Let's see that. There we go. All right, so I'm going to leave these dry overnight. Um, particularly these, because these need the tyres to be fitted onto them, as well as the centre parts. So, um, yeah. So, um, for me, it'll be overnight. For you guys, it'll be about three seconds, and I'll be back. All right, I'll see you then. Hello and welcome back, guys, and good morning. It's the next day here, and uh, all my paint's dried, and we'll have a look at where I'm going to move on to doing next. Um, so everything's all uh, done in the undercoat, black surfacer, uh, including things like, you know, I've done the seats. Uh, they're all done. So they're all going to be colour final coats done today. But in the meantime, um, I'm really happy with the way the silver came up. I showed you earlier some of that. So here's all our the rims for the wheels here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take off these uh, centre pieces off here. They go in the centre of there. And then on top of these will go uh, the chrome bit. So these parts you won't actually see. They'll be covered by chrome uh, hubcaps. So let's uh, snip these off and do a quick test fit and see how well they go on. So we've got four of these rims that's going to go in the center of there 
pretty much just like that. Easy. So we'll just take all of them off. I'm not even going to bother sanding those off because we can't see them. So they're basically just to support the wheels when they go on the axles. It's like, and there's a little nub on the top of there, which will be, uh, I'm guessing, for the hubcap, chrome hubcap to sit on, which we'll have a look at in a second. Let's get all these done. Two. That's them. Right. Um, now, I know that it, it's not telling me at this point to put the chrome hubcap on there till the next step, which is when they're getting put on the actual chassis. But there they are there. They're on sprue D and they're all number 19s. So let's have a look. There's, there they are there. There's all our 19s. And we'll see how well they sit. Obviously these all tidy up a little bit. Just try one for the moment. get my eyes on so I can see yeah. that's okay I'm just going to just smooth that off a little bit there Now it's almost impossible not to affect the chrome on this because it is plastic chrome plated. But I don't think when it's in place you'll be able to see. Yeah. Is that on? Yeah, so there's one wheel done. Bring that up and have a look. Just going to focus. There you go. Looking pretty good. Put those on. Uh, and then we can just set them aside for when they go on our vehicle. Right. Okay. And so far, no glue required. All right. So there's our four rims. Now we can put the tires on. All right, so here we are with our rubber tires. Get four of them out. We'll leave the spare in there. And uh, there they are. So it looks like I've just got to cut these off. They're numbered. One, two, three and four which is unusual because the instructions don't say anything about uh, number they just got that tire so I don't think that matters all right so first I guess we've got to cut that out
So that's definitely going to have to be trimmed down a lot more. I'll probably do this off camera because I'm going to have to get the knife in there. Just quickly try it first. Carefully do that. Yeah. All right. Well, you don't want to watch me doing all this. So I'm going to clean the rubber off the inside of these tires and I'll come back when we fit them. Okay. Be back in a sec. Okay. Welcome back. And there's our rims. They just slipped straight on there. No problem at all. Tires look good. And uh, I'll put these aside until we need to fit them later now there's also the spare tire which I'll put in here as well it won't get lost and we've got the rims or a rim here and looks like there's a bit of a choice yeah so you can choose to have this which has the little Volkswagen uh, emblem on it you can use that rim or you could use this one here which you can then add the chrome Volkswagen emblem to it like that don't know which so I'll leave them both in there and decide on that later when we get to that part of the instructions all right so with that set aside, we can uh, move on to what's next, which is probably going to be a bit of painting of these parts now that it's all undercoated. So if we go back to step one, right, so pretty much this, which we've done in Mr. Sur Mr. Surfacer, um, we need to paint this black. So I've got a uh, flat black in on the uh, airbrush bench ready to go. So I'll go spray this. Uh, I'm just thinking the only this area here will probably spray because you might be able to see that. So I'm just looking at where this part here sits on top. Um, but other than that, all under here will need to be black. Uh, yeah, and while I'm at it, there's a couple, couple other little parts that need to be a certain colour. For instance, uh, this one here. This needs to be done silver, the same as what we did the rims, but there's some little black parts on top of here. That need to be done so i'll do those separately with a brush would be easier and uh, also in there there's a couple of little bits so they'll be simple to do a brush there's also uh, the brown for that box in there so yeah i'll leave that it doesn't need to be done but there is a bit of black on that transmission which I think is, where do I put that? Um, find that piece somewhere. <laughs> I think it might be on the sprue. Yeah, that's fine. So that can stay that color. There's A5 that needs to be black. That's a pipe, looks like running in in the back of there this is all part of the engine bay anyway the most important part i can see from this is to get this done in the black and uh oh and of course some of the chassis um 
here we go here for the, the discs and the suspension. They'll need to be sprayed black as well. So I'll do them. Um, yeah, they're on, sorry, getting the way here, but they are there. Okay, so all that needs to be done black. There are some bits in there. The windscreen wipers will need to be done. Uh, these bits look like disc brakes and linkages there. Yep. All right, so I'll go through all this and paint this black and uh, and then we'll come back, okay? Eh? Because once that paint is all um, dry, we'll be able to put all that together. So I'll get that done now. Okay, back in a sec. Hello, back again. So what have I done? Well, I painted that black, the final black coat, and that come up really nice, as you can see. So that's finished and that's dry, okay? Um, all these parts on here are also black, the dashboard, uh, steering wheel, all the suspension, um, the rear axle, windscreen wipers, mud flaps, all been painted up. So that's also all dry. So I've also painted up uh, the engine bay here. So it's got the final silver coat on there now, along with the wall along the back. And that sort of mounts on the side like that. So I can start putting some stuff onto here now, which is good. Um, so we go right back to step one in the instructions here, where it's that uh, this part needs to go down in here. And I remember right, it should go on this side where the clip is. And that's going to sit, I'm um, handling it like it's wet. <laughs> uh, that's going to sit in there. Okay, so just before I put that down in there, a couple little bits they want painted uh, black and a brown color. So what I need to do is just touch up those. I'll use the paintbrush. Now I did find some XF6 Tamiya copper paint, which I think will look nice on the engine there. So I might do that copper and black. So I'll grab myself a paintbrush and uh, my black paint out here, and we'll just touch up those parts in there. And then we can, I was about to say glue that in, but obviously no glue required. So we'll snap it in. Okay, I'll be back in a sec. I'll get some paint ready. Okay, so let's get a bit of paint on here. Um, from what I can tell is we just need a little bit of black on this part here and this bit in here. So I'll just I'll try and keep this on camera. <laughs> okay. Very carefully just put that on there. Okay. And uh, here, what I'm doing, I'm uh, going to get my eyes tested because I got a feeling that the little, the cheap, like ten dollar little glasses I'm wearing here are just not good enough <laughs> anymore. Um, I see clearly with them. Um, this, but what I find is that. Um, it's difficult to put things in straight. It's it's the curve of the lens on the glasses that makes it hard to see properly. Um, if you know what I mean. So just carefully put that in there like that. 
might just do that bit there, although that's going to be at the back. It's all in the detail, isn't it? Yep. So that one's done. That's the larger of the two. Smaller one down here. So, yeah, I'm going to get my eyes checked and this and I'm also going to let the optometrist know what I do um, because they can make adjustments to the glasses apparently so to help so in the next sometime this week that's the plan especially when you're working on small stuff like this here. So that looks good. Just going to do the touch just in there, like that. Good. That's all that needs to be black on that. And while I've got the black paint on do this one as well and this needs uh this uh round pipe on the going into the back of the file into the firewall uh, needs to be black so do that okay say so these brushes are made by icky sticky <laughs> block the logo there um are really good brushes eh certainly make the job easy I'm sorry I'm keep moving my hand away from the camera view Down in there, underneath. Bit under there too. All right, we'll do just around here. Again, stay on camera. <laughs> right. And just a bit of silver underneath. And there's a pipe that goes into the end of there, so I don't need to do the inside of that. Good, that's the only black note. There's some more black down inside here. So maybe I should use a smaller brush. No, this should be fine. Just be very careful here. Down there. Right. Same on the other side. That looks about it. There's a bit more piping and stuff in the background there. I might save that for the copper paint. Um, yeah. All right.
right um i'll just go and clean this brush and we'll come back and have a go with the copper paint because that's all that we need to do black at the moment yeah okay back in a sec okay so we've got our copper color here nice and um when I look closer at the picture, those wires in the background here, there are some, there actually are the, the color pull out for them. And also there's a one at the top there as well. So I will make sure I color them with the copper. Let's see how this goes. It's a nice looking paint goes on will be nice very tiny pieces in here don't know if you can see that Probably will go with two coats on this. Just gonna do another there's another pipe in there too. It's looking okay. I'm just seeing another pipe running down through there, whether I should do that. The, the pictures aren't real clear. Oh, yes, you can just see that, yes, that is also a copper along there as well. So I'll do that very carefully. Like that. Yeah, probably can't see that, but I'll let that dry. I'll give that another coat. But, uh, yeah, that looks good. Now, the um, this one here has this part here is copper. And also, the distributor that I had to fit. Just got to find out where that is. And that's showing us copper as well. Um, maybe I'll do that red. We'll see. Okay, I'll do this part here. Pop a color. down the areas that can't be seen <laughs> right down in there it's good top looks good I'll let that dry and also give that a second coat. And I'll probably, I think I'll do the distributor, the color they require. They're asking. We'll do that the copper as well. I suppose if you really wanted to, you could probably put some um, spark plug leads on here. If you had some wire which I do, but I don't know if I want to go that far. That's looking pretty good as it is. Stupid like 
like that. Looks good. Yeah. All right. Don't think there's anything else we need to do. Oh, there are those pipes. Um, A5B, which connect from here, and they sort of go out like that. I would say they look like part of the, the some um, like hose, like water pipes or something. They go in through the firewall, so I'm guessing that they would be um, water hoses of some sort. They do have them the copper color as well. And along with this box shape in here. So I guess I should do that copper as also. Uh, just checking. Yeah, yeah, I'll do what it says. <laughs> Let's do the box copper. Or we could do two colors on that, couldn't I? I could do. Um, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> don't even know what that is. Um, just seems strange to have something that large, all copper, coloured. Uh, let me see. Maybe I'll leave it. I really need to stop second guessing everything. <laughs> uh, I just want to look good, don't I? Um, what to do? I'm going to leave that. And as for that hose, let me find where that is. I think it's over here. That's it here. So I painted that black. Uh, undercoated black but this is supposed to be uh, the copper color as well and it will sit on the front of there like that so yep I'll do that why not okay let's paint this up I'll make the attachment point where it joins uh, the other piece. Um, I'll leave that black just to break up. All right. Okay. Paint on there. It's good. That. Again, this will need a second coat. I haven't thinned any of this paint. It's just straight out of the bottle, the jar. That, that looks about right. Yep. A few spots under there. Good. Yeah, I think that does look good in the copper. Do the other side now. Yeah. 
Sporadne. There we go. That's good. I'll let that dry and I'll give it another coat. And that's it for the copper parts, I think. Yeah, for sure. Um, definitely good. Just checking, yes. Yeah. All right, I'll go clean my brush again. And uh, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, back again. There's a couple of little bits I missed. Black. Um, the top of the battery. Top of the battery here needs to be done black, as well as what looks like the coil on the top of there. That needs to be done black as well. So I'm just going to touch them up. Do the battery first. And, uh, yeah. Just turn the top of there black. Pretty much, I'm doing it off camera again. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, see that all the way around the edge. It's just I believe the base of the battery is silver, and the terminals will be left silver. Carefully do that. It's good. Yeah. I'm going to drink less coffee. I uh, get steady a hand. Gosh. It's good. Yeah. Very tiny parts. Let's do it like that. It's fine. There. Looks good to me. Battery's done. Do this little coil. What to do is just leave there's a strip over the center of it, which is supposed to be chrome, so I'll leave that chrome. Do the rest of it black. I need to put a little dot on the uh, center of my cutting mat. 
so I can see exactly where the center of the camera view is. Make this a bit easier, wouldn't it? Looks good. Might just do the end. And there, black. If I remember right, one of these just spark plug leads usually goes towards, goes onto this. So. What I might do is just do the end of it red. Because I remember those things having like a red cap. Well, in my engine they did. Might just, just add a touch of colour in there. Anyway, that's done. Um, I'll just wait a few minutes and I'll retouch up the black. Although it doesn't look like it needs it really. The black's dried up really nicely. Yeah, I'll leave that as it is, and uh, I'll just let that dry, the battery, and then, and then we can stick some parts down. Stick, I mean clip some parts down. All right, I'll go clean the brush again. Back again shortly. Okay, <clears throat> so the paint's dried, and we're ready to put some pieces on. <clears throat> Finally. Now let's have a look what we got. So first of all on here we can put this in place and that should simply clip in there like that. Then we've got uh, that piece which we already put in. That's done. Finally, after all I've done so far, we've finished step one. Okay, and that's looking pretty good there. So now, um, step two is we need to put the pipe on here, which is this one. So this copper pipe. Take that off here. I'll be able to take this off the sprue. Be there and there and touch this. Uh, how's that going to go? Easy, straight on the front of here, like that. That's it. These two pieces are going to go down onto that, so we'll just hold off on that for a minute while I just check. Everything's painted on there as we want. So that's that's pretty much step two done. Step three is uh, where is the piece gone? Uh, <laughs> gosh, where is it? I saw it here before. I think that's it. No. Here it is, right in front of me. <laughs> so this piece, which I had to touch up with the black on it, is done. So that's step three done. Put that there. Move these. Now, step four is putting this on. First, we can cut that off that. So this goes on the back here. Let me get that out of the way so it doesn't affect our color video. See better? Right. So that's going to go down in there and that's going to go in there like that pretty much. The pipe is already lined up. In that hole and that one goes into this hole like that yep 
That's it. So that's step four done. That included the distributor, which I'd already put in there because I knew that would be a bit tricky to fit under that pipe. Uh, the distributor's already there. Step four is done. Now we go to step five. Now step five looks a bit complicated because we actually have to put decals on. So there's decals to go on the battery. There's decals to go on this front engine part here. And they need to go on before these are put on. Okay, so I need to go and grab some decals and stickers. So a mixture of both here. So let me grab the decal sheet and I'll be right back. Okay, so we've got the decals here and the stickers. These are the stickers. These are the decals. So um, what we've got is we've got the order to put things in. So number one is there's a pipe to go across there, which I'll, I'll get shortly. That's on sprue A. Um, but as for the decals, we've got um, some batteries and there's choices. You can have a decal or the sticker. It's up to you. And I think, you know, from what I can see here, I think the stickers look fine for the batteries. So I might use them. Um, this part here, which sits on the front, doesn't have um, stickers. It's all decals. And there's one, two, three, four, believe it or not, to fit on that. So um, I'm not going to have bore you and try and show you because they're so small so what I'll do is I'll show you now that's there there's our battery we have another battery still on the sprue here and we're going to do all the decals for them so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go do all the decals and we'll come back and have a look at them decals and stickers I should say all right and just that one exhaust pipe that's missing there which I think is on A5. Just before I go, I'm going to find where that is. Uh, it'll be over here. So we've got all these painted. Uh, A5 is this one here. Okay, so I'll take that off and attach that. That can go on pretty much straight away. All right, um, I'll be back for the decals done, okay? All right, back shortly. Okay, guys, so I've got the engine bay done. Bring that up and have a look. A little focus, there you go. Come up all right, the decals on the battery terminals and so forth. There you go. Looking pretty good. Happy with that. All right, so that's step five complete. So now we're going to go over to the um, undercarriage and start doing that. But I'm going to do that in the next video because we've run out of time here, well over the hour mark. Don't want these videos going for too long. So, um, yeah, stick with it and uh, come back and watch me in part two as we... Um, build this little Ravel VW T2 camper. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you like the video and your comments are welcome below. And uh, I'll see you in part two, eh? All right, cheers. Bye for now.